Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. It has been a, a while since I've posted a new video. I thought I'll quickly make a short video. And in this video, I want to talk about Microsoft uh, Quick Basic. This used to be one of the programming languages, uh, which most of us uh, was the first programming language which could be learned. It was so easy. It could be done by even if you're studying in the school, college, or you know, even if you are not a computer programmer, if you just had an old PC, you could still run this and just explore what uh, programming is all about, really. It's one of the most simplest language in the world. It's a verbose language, uh, which means it's almost like English, really. So you just type in and it should be very easy to follow. I can quickly type in. In fact, when I started, even I didn't knew what Quick Basic was. So I just typed in, for example, say let x equal to n and it just worked really so it seemed very easy enough for me to follow really and i just said uh, print x plus y and it yeah it took that and just to run that so if i go and say run and if you can see on the screen the output is 15 so it's one of the most easiest language to try out i'll put the link in the description uh, where you can download the Microsoft Quick Basic compiler. Of course, it runs on free DOS. Uh, it's not for Windows, it's just for MS DOS base. But as I said, it is one of the most easiest programming languages to try out. And uh, you can also download my virtual image if you want to, uh, my virtual computer or virtual image for free DOS. Or you can create your own. I mean, it's always up to you. But as I said, I mean, why are we even talking about Quick Basic? Well, since uh, if you plan to use uh, FreeDOS for other embedded uses, it is uh, it's usually people do have this quick basic compiler as well, just to try out various features. So what do I mean by that? So there are some uh, demo programs in this. I'll try to run those demo programs and show you uh, what I mean by what are the possibilities which can be done with the quick basic compiler. So I'll see you shortly with the demo programs. Let's try out some sample programs. So I'll go to open program. So there are some demos here. So let's see what is in demo one dot bass. So I don't want to save this file. So it's a sound effects demo program. It's pretty amazing what you can do with this compiler. And it's very, very easy, really. So as I said, if you have a copy of uh, FreeDOS virtual machine, you should try it out and let, let me show you what what kind of sounds it can produce or what kind of what kind of programs which you can write very easily so let me run this so i hope i am able to capture the sound as well i should find out soon but let's run this and see right so it gives me options of uh, what kind of sound effects do you want uh, bouncing falling klaxon siren or quit let's select bouncing Okay, what about falling? What about klaxon? What about siren? So we are back to Quick Basic and uh, it's very easy. So this was one of the first demo programs which I wanted to show. So I'll show you what's the second one. What does the next one do? Okay, the next uh, demo program which comes with this Quick Basic compiler is a program called as a torus. Uh, torus, as you know, is a geometrical figure. So it allows you to draw a torus as well should be interesting let's see what this does really i mean it's no harm if you just see what kind of output it produces so i'll just say alt run and start so okay so it provides some uh, default values and if i just press enter it should uh, draw a torus for us that's what it says there so if you want to change the values you can go ahead and change the values but i don't know what it does so let us see i'll press enter 
okay that's interesting so if you have an embedded application which requires uh, this kind of simple stuff you don't have to write it in c++ so imagine you having a small screen and a very small computer these days most of the ms dos running computers are very small so you can definitely use this quick basic compiler depending on your need of course so there might be a situation where you have to create a, a display which needs to be kept running for the entire year uh, ms dos computers are although very old they have become a lot smaller really they can fit in the size of your palm so that computer can be connected to a display a small display or a large display and you can have this application running throughout the year so if there is a need for such thing then quick basic should be a solution for you in those circumstances so you can easily draw graphics with quick basic it's very easy you don't have to learn complicated c++ for doing graphics and you don't have to learn embedded linux for doing that you don't have to go to windows or any other thing just install a free dos virtual image on your ms dos so, tiny computer put the quick basic compiler write an application and you should be good to go so let's go back and does it change so if i make the value of up down okay so i made the value of 5 yeah so it changes the thickness of the torus here and i can change the panels as well so i'll reduce the panels so you can play with the various settings here so in this case this was a demo program which already existed so i did not create this one this came with part of the compiler so i just do that and go back to the application okay the last example program which i want to show which comes with the quick basic compiler is something called a sort demo so it produces sounds as well as it also demonstrates some graphics. Let us see what this is. It uh, looks interesting and I hope I'm able to capture the audio for as well. So let's try it out. Right, so we see some graphical bars on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have menus here. It says insertion. So these are various sorting algorithms. Insertion sort, bubble sort, heap sort, exchange cell and the quick sort. The last one is the quick sort, okay. So don't worry if you don't know anything about those ones. I, at least let's try it out what it does really. I think what it does is it will arrange, it will arrange the bars which you see on your left hand side depending on the algorithm which you use to sort them. So on the first one is the green one which is a longer bar and then you have a second one is a white bar which is uh, smaller than the green one. So it should be able to arrange them depending, depending on the various algorithms which we choose. So let's select the first sort. Let's select bubble sort. So I'll press the character B as it says on the screen and see what it does. Does it, is it able to arrange these bars in a proper sorting order uh, based on what we select? So I'll press B for bubble sort. As you can see it has sorted all the bars and we selected the bubble sort algorithm so bubbles they arise uh, as you know they arise upwards so uh, that's what it does and i mean yeah it's interesting i mean you can try out the various other uh, different algorithms as well it took about 53 seconds to sort out sort all the bars here and so, yeah so yeah that was interesting i'll just uh, quit this so it should give you an idea what this uh, what this application can do 
I'm back to the code here. Looks interesting to be honest. Usually if you want to write this kind of code in C++ or C, it is very, very difficult by the way. So uh, this can be a very good compiler. It can really give you a lot of uh, options to try out stuff. If you have such a requirement really, you should definitely give it a go. So this makes it uh, using such kind of sorting algorithms very easy. Well, this is what I wanted to talk about uh, in this short video. Just to introduce you to what is Quick Basic or what used, what was Microsoft Quick Basic for DOS and how to use it if you want to. I'll provide the link in the description as well as in the video from where you can download this compiler and also where you can download the free DOS operating system if you want to try this out. Uh, as usual, thanks very much for watching my videos. I'll see you shortly in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.